So we just did a biopsy dart on a sable antelope. Um, I've been trying to get some of the younger generation. We've been doing this uh, genomics research and genetics research project with the Smithsonian Institute and Source Population Alliance now for a while. We've been sampling our herd um, and we've got a lot of the older generation in and, and those uh, genomes have been you know, sequenced. All the genetics have been, there's been a lot of studies done on them. I'm gonna start trying to get some of the younger guys now so we get some new information. So I just uh, hit a young female with a biopsy dart. Got a little chunk of skin that we're gonna process here now. And uh, once we get it processed and I get a couple more samples, we'll send it into the Smithsonian so they can do all their magic with it. And it is very cold out here. That's why I'll be shaking. So I label these pretty simply. What they really need to know is what the animal is, what the uh, sex is, and the age. Um, and I can, by my markings, I can go back to the Smithsonian and tell them a little bit more information. But this is obviously a sable, S-A. Right now we're only darting sable, scimitar, addix, and dama gazelle. So I have S-A for sable, S-C for scimitar. F is for female, and then SA down at the bottom is for sub-adult. So I know that that is probably one that's about two years old uh, to probably three or four years old. This cap comes off, and there's a little chunk of skin, just the outside of the epidermis. Nothing that's real uh, painful for them. It's just a little nick out of their skin, something that heals very quickly. Looks like we've got a little bit more in here. Uh, I like to take a brand new needle so that we're not mixing any other possible DNA on the sample. Try to get the stuff out that's in here. So there is a pretty good little chunk of skin there that will get pulled out. And then this. Uh, needle on here has some barbs on it so you just have to work the skin off of the barbs which is sometimes tedious Once you get it off, the rest of that goes in the tube. We're done with the needle. And you cannot, unfortunately, I'd love to be able to reuse these over and over again, but once you've used it once, then you've got that DNA mixture on it. And if you use it again, then you could get a bad reading when you go to sequence it. So like I said, I'm trying to get the younger generations right now so that we have some new information going into the system. So I darted a young, I'd call her a yearling, sable. So the label will go SA for sable, it was a female. And then I'm gonna put SA again for sub-adult. You know, I know that that's something that's not super young, but it's something that is right there in that range of, you know, Yearling, two-year-old, maybe a little bit older, maybe a little bit younger. So we'll keep these in here. And then, you know, every every day when I get back, I, I always put these in the freezer. They need to go into a deep freezer. So I've got them sorted out, and we put them in little Ziploc baggies. They go into a deep freezer until we're ready to send those off to the Smithsonian. And the other thing that we'll do, one last thing, is we're going to take another one of those biopsy darts that hadn't been used, and we're going to load that back up. The... Uh, the thing about our property out here is because these animals are running around in all these big pastures, sometimes you don't, you can't always be prepared for it. A lot of times you just got to have a dart ready and when that animal jumps out, <laughs> then you've got a dart ready and then you're able to uh, get a dart into it. If you wait till you see the animal and then try to load up, by the time you load up, they could be gone. So 
I like to always have one constantly loaded on safety. And we'll go get some more samples.